Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading and this is your, this is for Capricorn Ascended, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may also rest in the the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. So cross watchers, if I describe someone here and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Capricorn, you're going to assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. And for those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I'm doing a live streaming. And on a live stream, you can ask me question. Okay? So, for um, if you also want to know your lucky number and lucky color, follow me on Instagram. If you miss the live streaming, you can still ask me question. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. You can type in your question and then you can click submit. So Capricorn, if you also want to know your financial forecast for the month of September, follow me on Instagram. If you want to be featured in our subscriber of the day, then send me a DM of your picture. Um, 500 likes for this video and your next video will be like Scorpio. They have the full reading. If you have a Scorpio placement in your chart, might as well check their reading. You're gonna, you know, learn something, red flags. Um, there's a long video. You may pick up some bits and pieces of your situation if you have a Scorpio placement, okay? Now, copies, if you resonate with this reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate, then come back to the reading after we go to Thomas Fluvid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, then still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. So, copies, let's begin. Your first card here is the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So how strange because I can see here that someone tried to sneak on you, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is a thief in the night, right? Seven of Swords is a person who's kind of like a little sneaky as well. So here's the thing how karma works right someone wanted to be sneaky on you but it came out kind of like a blessing in disguise you know that kind of thing that um something did some you know people do numbers on you but instead of you know you will be in a position that you're gonna be devastated that your life will be ruined it becomes more lighter without them that is true and a seven of swords they hurt themselves but for doing this oh my god I can see here that the person got karma so karma here is a very strong word or uh, I can see a karma I mean I can I can I am vibrating karma here for for that person who tried to sneak on you you got the completion um, I think you're happy um, at, at the moment or you're gonna be happy at the moment I can see here that your person wanted to say to, to apologize that's true um, apology is here I can see also that you provided your your all you provided everything you're hundred percent here the world card I can see here travel probably you might be connecting in a long distance you know relationship or this person is far from you whether it is physically or energetically there is there's something in you that both of you are you know disconnected anymore there's distance physically well probably living coast to coast different countries different cities um energetically whether or not you are living in the same place living in the same neighborhood probably sleeping in the same bed sleeping in, i mean living in the same roof you are already far apart, right? Feels like you're so near yet so far. I can see that your person, you know, already learned three of pentacles, already learned here, or already kind of like, I am missing my Scorpio. I mean, I am missing my Capricorn. Um, seven of Wands, now they are strategizing on how to come back here to you. Eight, they're gonna work hard here. 
Cap. Cap, you're still gonna work hard here because first and foremost, you're not the person who turned their back on this connection. They are, right? Again, it could be you, it could be them. Cross watchers, if you feel like this is your reading, so be it. And Cappies, if you feel like you are in a cross watcher side, that is okay. I am not reading which side you're at. I am reading the energy. As I can see, Cappy, they're gonna work hard here. That's for sure. They are passionate because, <laughs> why? Because they did you wrong. It kind of like a payoff of, you know, since I did you wrong, I wanna be passionate. I don't think that this is the right time for them to be passionate as, you know, a simple sorry that they want to do here but they're gonna do extra um, apart from the, the apology they're actually afraid to talk to you they want to give you now an equal give and take here so previously they're sneaky probably you get less of it less of what you deserve but now they wanted to give you an equal give and take um, I want to know why the first card is seven of wands this is kind of like a heavy a heavy card for the first card I don't like this but you know although I don't like the first card followed by the ten of cups it's kind of like again blessing in his guys there is stuff you might be connecting with it's a Scorpio or has a Scorpio placement in their chart or you have a Scorpio placement in your chart I can see that this person is stuff it you know probably the disconnection took a while before they got the enlightenment the devil card you might be connecting with oh this is your card crappies right so for a while they are kind of like manipulate manipulating you and this is the time that we're in they kind of like stepped on the last card of their manipulation and it was kind of like they're trapped so they did this to them not you okay i am not making fun of them but you know it's a law of the universe um you reap what you saw <sighs> i don't know what to feel but i one thing's for sure i feel good for you um because again people and good things happen to good people right so this is the last cycle of you know disconnections so i'm not sure if you're gonna you're gonna accept them but what i keep on hearing is that you gave you gave your everything so i am really sorry i want to can i come back that's true um ace of swords they wanted to give you an abundant beginning here they also because they know that they cut the connection um Cappies, this is your reading. If you resonate with this and you want to go in depth, you can book a personal reading with me. If you if you're okay with the reading and you just have a question or two, or your personal question, there's a link in the description box. Click that link, you'll be right to my page. Type in your question, click submit. Um, Cappies, this is your reading. Click the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, comment down below. I'm very interactive. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.